Welcome game developers. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install a sounds in your game. First of all, if you never watch my video about Godot's that I have made, you can watch here. I have created a playlist on a full a Godot game engine in which I explain the concept of a Godot. I recommend you to check it out. So let's go to the Godot engine and add sound. So here are a project that I have made about ping pong game. I am going to upload the full tutorial of how to make a ping pong game very soon. So in this game I want to add a sound. Like uh, when a ball touch the wall here or here or the slider here or here. So when the ball touch anything, it produce sound. I want a sound at that point. So what we, what I have to do for that. So let's go to the ball scene and here are our ball scene and there are our kinematic mode, 2D node that I have called ball. And in this scene, we have to add a node which is audio stream player. If you might have wonder why there is a free audio stream player here. So if we talk about this audio stream player 3D, it's for it's used for 3D in, in gaming. And here audio stream player 2D and audio stream player. Which uh, uh, the both uh, the notes are used in uh, 2D games. But what is the difference between them? So the difference is that in 2D games if a player node or a node that produces the sound is uh, far from away then it generates uh, less noise and if it uh, near to you then it uh, generates more noise. But in the audio stream player it does not depend on the object whether it is far or in near to you. It always generates the same frequency of a sound. So we want that in our game. So double click on it and add as a child of a ball. Now click on that node and go to his property by click on inspector. And here are the properties of an audio stream player. So if, uh, first of all to produce a sound from a ball when it's collide. You have you want a sound. So where you can find a sound for that. You can find it on Google. So I am going to uh, use this sound that I have downloaded from internet. So what we are going to do now is that copy this folder that in which uh, there are sounds and paste it in a folder in which our game, our ping pong game is uh, based. So this is our game folder ping pong and in in that folder in this folder i am going i'm going to paste a folder of sound so here are the sounds i have uh, downloaded from the internet and it is now on a godot folder and it uh, the changes reflect to the godot editor as well let's find so here are here it is the sound folder and three sounds so I am going to put a one of I am going to drag one of the sound here from and uh, put it in a stream property. Now what you are going to do is that if you click on the playing it will start playing one time only. So now we give a sound to audio stream player. Now what we are going to do is that go into the ball and go into the ball script and look when uh, where we have to add a code in script so like i am in what is this function do is that if a ball collide with her something then it generate a collusion object and stored in this variable now what this function do is that if that if it collusion object exists means if collusion happen then do this thing so we just uh, have to put a code here so let's start let's call the our audio player node n 
let's uh, give the property i'll uh, give the function to play so in this function if collision object exist means collision happen this happens and also our audio player play a sound for one time let's check by running the our game so our game is working with sounds i hope you hear the sounds so that's how you can add your sound in your game but i want to tell you one thing that if uh, you enable this property like auto play so what this is do is that it uh, it started playing the sound as soon as the game starts so if you want that so you can enable this auto play one thing also i have to tell you that uh, by going to the import property here you can see that there is a loop option if uh, you want a sound that uh, loop through then you can check this property on and and you just have to do reimport and after the reimport just click on play and look at that sound it's continuously playing by looping the sound so just i'm going to uncheck the loop and again reimport the sound do remember to reimport the sound every time you change something so that's how you can add a sound in your game thank you for watching